Tonight, we'll witness the reveal of the first face of Benga Beauty. Zinta Manzini. Rosemary, Ntati and John, congratulations on such an incredible series. Every single episode had me on the edge of my seat. How do you each feel about this South African production releasing across the globe? It is a dream come true. It is exciting. It is unbelievable. And I mean, like I said, I really don't have words. <laughs> I don't have the words. It is exhilarating. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited because it just puts us on a global stage. And then the fact that there's so many countries going to be watching this mm. is just mind blowing. It yeah. really is. Yeah. It is. It is humbling. I mean, we're dealing with, we're speaking about the biggest streamer in the world, you know, so that's <laughs> 200 million people at a go. So that's very, very scary, but very, very <laughs> exciting at the same time. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're very, we're feeling very, very fortunate as well yeah. that they took a chance on the story, on us uh, to showcase what we can do. So it's great. <laughs> Rosemary, this is your biggest role to date. What was it like working with South African acting legends like Ntaiti, who's been in the industry for over 30 years? right my entire role model um <laughs> it, it was absolutely amazing i i appreciate that instead of um isolating me in any way you literally put me under your wing and that for me it it, it was it was crazy because i didn't expect it but when you did do it i was like wow she is so amazing. Like everybody had their own amazing little treat um, to, to share with me. And like you said, this is the first very big role that I'm getting and I am just so grateful for it. And working, yeah, working with you guys was, was amazing. <laughs> we had a great time. We, we had did. such a fun time. <laughs> And Ntati, from your side, what is it like working with young, incredible, new talent? And what advice do you have for those who do want to get into the industry? I love working with young talent because young talent reminds Ntati who Ntati used to be. That I was once hungry as well, that I wa once wanted uh, what, what, what Rosemary has gone through. And so it's always a lovely reminder of don't take anything for granted. Remember, you were a Rosemary at some stage in your life. And and mind you, then it, it, it means then I then become my own competition. So it means then, okay, you still want to do this, the longevity thing, another 30 years of doing this? Yes. So I love working with young talent and I learn so much from them. Mm -hmm. uh, learning is a two-way street. I learn from them, they learn from me. And, and besides, I, I'm a girl at heart. So I might be whatever, 50 plus, but my goodness, I've got the energy of a 25 year old. Yes, she does. So I, I, I have fun working with young actors. And to any young actress who wants to venture into this crazy, insane, amazing creative world is do you, boo. Be authentic, be your authentic self because you can, there's only one of you yep. and there's no Tati, other than Tati Mishesh, there's no Rosemary, there's no John. So do you and just be your authentically self. There's something recognizable about her. You look right at home. And John, we don't learn too much about your character until more towards the end of the season. Can you tell us more about Kolobe? <laughs> That's a lot for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. So he is, he was there from day one. He was there from day one. Before Bengi Beauty became Bengi Beauty, he was there with Don and Grace, helping them along the way. And to a certain extent, he's indebted more so to Grace than to, to, to Don. So he's very loyal at heart. Um, somebody called him duplicitous earlier on today, and I was like, mm, I, don't know about that. I was like, I don't, I don't know about that, you know. But I guess, you know, sometimes you get you feel you want to defend your character, but no. Um, <laughs> he is an intriguing person, and um, it was a, quite a challenge for me to bring him to life. But with their help, um, we managed to do that, and. Um, yeah, I, without giving my, a, a bit too much away about him, I think you're just going to have to watch and see what, what actually, you know, what the story is for him. Yeah. 
And Tati, your character Grace is absolutely brutal. I love her. Can you tell us more about your character? Playing Grace Bengu. Grace Bengu represents a lot of our black women. And, and I'm not going to say just South Africa, uh, on the continent, in the African diaspora as well. Um, she will fight to the bitter end to protect her family. It's all about legacy for her. It's all about uh, the name, the brand. And in a way, Grace is very progressive because here's a woman who started an empire way back then, but she clearly had the vision to what she would like this beauty empire to be okay along the way <laughs> in her as you say very brutally um she does some underhanded ways to get to where she is but isn't that survival so in this case i will defend my character so i love it's that. all about <laughs> survival so women are constantly having to survive in a in a in a world that half the time does not recognize them, does not recognize the power that they, that they have behind the building empires or building empires generally for the men in their lives. We are going to find this enemy. This is a war you can't win. She's lying. Get the hell out of my house! And Rosemary, your character Zentle is out for revenge. How do you personally feel about her decisions and how she chooses to handle things? Yeah, her decision making is just... <laughs> it's madness. It's madness because it's, it's driven by just anger and trauma and she doesn't really think... Let me say, uh, think think deeply about what she's about to do, who she's about to ruin, how she's about to do it. I think for her, it's just let's do it and then we'll see about the consequences later. So yeah, she oh, she's mad. We love her. She's big <laughs> mad. <laughs> Rosemary and Tati, specifically as women, what does it mean to you to be a part of the series that addresses and challenges beauty standards such as skin lightening? Oh, I love it. I love it. I think we could, we should have more, more stories about women. And the fact that our leading ladies are women and the women in the story are uh, not one dimensional. They yeah. are fully fledged characters and they're very relatable. There's a Grace Bengu somewhere out there. There's a Rosemary, well, Zintle. Sorry, there's a, there's a Zintle. There's a, there's a Tando mm. and, 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 and so forth. So I just love seeing women presented in such a powerful, powerful way. Women of different shades also. Um, I think that's, that's the one thing I really mm. took from Savage Beauty, where we're not all the same complexion but we're all so powerful and we're all so impactful and empowering. It's just liberating. And finally, what can we expect from Savage Beauty? John. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at us all like... <laughs> um, well, I think it's all been said before, but you can expect a, a riveting story uh, with a brilliant cast, um, a different narrative, something that's going to get people talking. Yep. For sure, you know, that's going to, I hope, that's going to cause people to really, really sit down and, and consider what beauty really is and, the, you know, as a society and the impact that it actually kind of has. And more than that, you know, uh, for strong characters, but even more than that, strong women taking the lead and just showing us how it's done. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what's up, that's what's up, yeah. Rosemary and Tati and John, thank you so much for your time. It's been absolutely amazing talking to you and wishing you all the best. Thank you thank so you for much. Giving us the <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. This is only the beginning.